welcome to Terry T TV. Yeah, this is uh, the year 2020, and uh, we got some new product in from the Chase Group, uh, BMX Group, and uh, I'm pretty excited. And uh, we're gonna just see what's in the box. Uh, looks like we got a 2020 model, and uh, we've already cut the straps. And let's let's see what we got in store for uh, this year's uh, Spring Nationals at uh, Santa Clara Pow. scissors. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Looks like we got a race seat here. Wow. <laughs> Weighs nothing. <laughs> Guess we're having a, a late Christmas. That's right. This is a February uh, 5th. Looks like we got handlebars here. So anyway, for all you wondering, uh, when you have no budget, you sit at home and you wonder what it's like to be at a national event. But anyway, a lot of the sites start with having new products. So starting off with a modern day bike, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So pretty much, uh, I'll probably most likely run most of the stock stuff here. I know I'll switch the cranks out to chromoly. I'll run my uh, 185 profile cranks. Most likely run a, a whatever the latest rear hub is. And uh, I'm understanding that the gearing has changed a little bit. It's really actually gone back to old school, but I'll probably be running something like a 4918 with 185 cranks, flat pedals. So, all that should work out pretty good. Um, notice it has a carbon fiber fork. I'll see how it feels, but I may switch over to their uh, chrome olive fork eventually. More for safety purposes than anything. I'm 185 pounds. I think Connor Fields is probably somewhere around there. But uh, anyway, safety first once you're older. But other than that, looks pretty good. Oops. First crash. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, we'll get it going. What's kind of cool is that, you know, stock bike coming with disc, disc brake now. So, you know, not bad. First bike I've ever, BMX bike with a disc brake. So, starting with something new. Been thinking about going to that Houston, that Houston race, World Cup qualifier, but still can't get anyone to put up a budget for me to go. Probably be looking at about fifteen hundred bucks for that weekend, and you know I just don't have it sitting in my back pocket. And the sad thing about it is, being a Hall of Famer, I shouldn't even be sweating. It. You know, I should be going there representing someone, at least on a social media level. Half these millennial kids, you know, don't know how to promote their own name. So anyway, this thing's looking pretty trick. I'm liking it already. Uh, so we'll see. Yep. So I'll swap out the tires. These are low pressure tires, so I'll go to the uh, tires that hold 100 uh, PSI, Tioga most likely, and uh, we'll go from there. Tioga being one of my old paying sponsors also, so I've already had a relationship with them, so we'll see if we can bridge, bridge back up for 2020. Alright, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers. New beginnings.